Welcome, my brothers and my sisters, to the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. Sister, spiritual inspiration shared through the arts. Sister, spiritual inspiration shared through Ayana. I am Ayana, the host, creator, and producer of the Sister Speak Show. And yes, you are listening live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time to the tour, where we cover every aspect of the music industry. I am extra excited this evening, my brothers and sisters, to vibe out with you. Let me tell you why. I'm excited because... I have a special guest this evening. That's right. I have a very special guest this evening. S-D-Y-P, the movement, stand up. Success, determination, youth, prosperity. Shout out to all of you all who represent S-D-Y-P, the movement, because my special guest this evening, my brothers and sisters, Texaco Mills. That's right. That's right. I know, I know. You know, shout out to Florida because Florida is definitely in the building and so is Dallas, Texas, where we are recording live. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this in the way. My brothers and sisters, welcome to my first time listeners and welcome back to all of my regular listeners. It's going all the way up on the Sister Speak show this evening. It's going all the way up on the tour, just like the temperature, 10,000 degrees today. That's right. Um... I don't know if I need to start singing old spiritual hymnals, hymns. I don't know what this is. I think I saw Harriet Tubman today. I think she said meet her by the tree at 10 tonight. We getting off this plantation. I think I saw Frederick Douglass. Okay. I know I saw Nat Turner. Who else did I see today? Sojourner Truth. In all this heat, that is. I didn't, I, I mean, woo. Mm. Blaze, just Blaze is in the building once again. I mean, it is just real spit, okay? It's just always so, just Texas just accumulates this humidity and this heat that is just, and it's so funny because people are always saying it's hot. Like, even though you know it's hot, but it's so hot that people can't stop saying it's hot. No matter where you go, you go in the store, you see somebody, it's so hot, it's hot, it's hot. Yes, indeed it is. So I hope, brothers and sisters, you are keeping hydrated. You are keeping cool. You're doing everything you need to do in order to make sure you don't fall out. You don't want to fall out. Oh, goodness. The worst thing to happen is to fall out, especially most people that you don't know. Now they got to go through your phone. And that's, and if you got an iPhone and you have it locked, now they can't call the people that you know to come get you from wherever the hospital is that you are now being transported to. Stay hydrated. Eat you some fruit. Look, stay away from the sodas. I got to say this to my brothers and sisters. The sodas are not good for you. They tear up your kidneys. They tear up all your organs. Only thing they do is just taste good for a quick second and then the damage that they do to your body is just ridiculous. Your body's made up of 75 to 95% of water. You need to make sure you are staying hydrated. Look, do you give your car Kool-Aid? I'm just asking. I mean, seriously, do you feed your car Mountain Dew? Do you put Mountain Dew in your gas tank? No. You give your car what your car needs in order to make it through, honey. In order to get to where you have to go. I mean, not only do you have to step on the gas, but you have to give it gas. You understand what I'm saying to you? So liken yourself into your vehicle. Your vehicle, your body, needs water. Every aspect of your body is relying on that agua. Some people say that water tastes nasty. You know, sometimes you just have to pray that the spirit of laryngitis will come upon some of your brothers and sisters sometimes because everybody don't need a microphone and everybody doesn't need to actually express what's going on in their mind because these these are the people that they want to know why you want to do an intervention. You know, some people speak and be like, you know what, cuz, look, look, let me pull you to the side, look. We need to do an intervention because the thoughts that are going on in your head need to stop. 
I'm just saying, brothers and sisters. So check this out. When you listen to the Sister Speak show, you are listening to six segments on the Sister Speak show. You know, we are a syndicated podcast on Amazon Alexa. You can catch us on SoundCloud, TuneIn, Tumblr, as well as YouTube, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. We're really excited about that. Now, on the Sister Speak show, you're going to be able to catch special guest interviews live performances, in-studio interviews, as well as on-location reports. The special guests who will be on the Sister Speak Show. They are dynamic, and they are impacting the communities with their passions. The Sister Speak Show is a talk show that will keep your mind and your soul informed, energized, and encouraged. We are a cultural renaissance platform that influences a climate that is conducive to who you are and who you should be. No reckless entertainment, just responsible listening nourishment. We don't go dumb. We go wisdom on the Sister Speak show. And you need to understand that. It's about making the known known. And this is also made music. That's right, where we are featuring independent music artists. You know, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing to be able to vibe out with dope special guests. To listen to fresh music. To be able to just, you know, introduce to... My international listeners. I got to turn the fan on, brothers and sisters, before I fall out. (laughs) Anyway, look, it's amazing how, you know, you get the opportunity to introduce, and the fan is on 9 million right now. you're, You're able to introduce to, you know, international listeners who may not have an opportunity to, you know, have access to what we have access to here in the Western states. You know, and we're able to say, hey, Papua New Guinea, check out Texaco Mills or Papua New Guinea, check out Skeet or check check out Alley or check out, you know, Ballad or check out Clue or, you know, all of my special guests that have, you know, blessed us with their music. It's really about providing a platform that allows your special guests to move and vibrate and, and, and to be able to, you know, just get the exposure that they deserve. So this is what we're going to do before my special guest calls in. You know, I'm always thinking about the struggles of, you know, the independent artists and the struggles of the artist who's on the record label. And I'm also thinking about the highlights of the independent artist. So I found this clip, but I don't want the clip to play into my interview that's going to come up. So what I'll probably do is just play the clip you know, after the interview, but it's uh, by brand man Sean Taylor on YouTube. And the title of the video is The Struggles of Being, <coughs> excuse me, Independent versus Record Label Pains. So I want to know what your input is. Chat live with me on the Sister Speak show on the tour about your, your thoughts on a major label versus the independent route. Because, you know, I spend a lot of time and I find clips and things of that nature, but I just wanted to, you know, see what your take on it is. So then I decided, well, since this clip is going to be six minutes and 30 seconds, you know, I got you. I found a clip. I think I saved it. Yes, I did. About Mr. T. Now, Mr. T, a part of the A-team, you know, uh, did an interview with, an interviewer and the way he responded was just amazing so i'm gonna let you listen to it and then we'll get into it after this okay Some people might say it's tacky, but there's a message in these shoes, you see. Uh, these shoes keep me humble. And if uh, you recall last time we met, I had these shoes a little bit better shape, you know. But these shoes were headed down through my family. My father wore my brothers wore them, things like that. So they keep me humble. Keep me, let me remember that I have a brother and sisters back in Chicago and I do it too. I got mother and father and I must take care of. So you see, out in Hollywood, especially all the money that I'm making now, it's so easy for me to get caught up in all these material stuff and forget where I'm coming from. So wherever I be, whether I'm with a governor or a mayor or a reception or whatever, I look down at my shoes and let me know, hey, I can't get too carried away here. So it keeps me level. As I say, I want to keep my feet on the ground and my head towards him. Huh. 
We'll be right back after these commercial breaks. Listen to the tour live starting this Thursday. The Texas Premieres as my special guest. Saturday, May 26th at 5 p.m. J Metro and then ISIS from SDYB Movement at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. On the tour, we focus on every aspect of the music industry. Don't forget, May Music on the Sister Sweet Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, action. May Music is here for her tour on the Sister Speak Show. Starting this Friday, listen live as it is here at Central Standard Time to fresh music. That's why we're going to be featuring these dope, phenomenal, independent artists on the Sister Speak Show starting this Friday, May 4th. On the tour, we'll be covering every aspect of the music industry. So don't forget to listen live through Spreaker on the Sister Speak Show with contemporary vision. Listening to the Sister Speak Show is even easier now with the new abilities available from Spreaker Skill on Amazon Alexa. With Spreaker on Alexa, you can now listen to the Sister Speak Show from even more places from all around the world. You also have navigation control. Fast forward and rewind podcast to make sure you never miss a second of your favorite show. And then you can ask for show recommendations like the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. Brothers and sisters, we want you to listen live and on demand to the Sister Speak Show. There are six segments dedicated to serving you, my brothers and sisters. We have the platform, coming to the stage, the culture climate, the laugh line, the tour, and the search effort. Oh, the Sister Speak Show, where contemporary meets vision, sound, and action. A talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve. Welcome back. You are listening live to the tour. <clears throat> Excuse me, my brothers and sisters, on the Sister Speak show. And I am your host, Ayana. You know what? It's going all the way up. The tour where we focus on every aspect of the music industry, my brothers and sisters. I'm so excited to vibe out with you. I'm so excited about my special guest this evening. Shout out to Skeet the Young Poet. Shout out to X the Hustler for great vibes, great networking, you know, great guests, and just I'm so excited about, you know, just where we're going to grow as we get to know each other and 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 work well with each other. You know, that's what it's all about. You know, brothers and sisters, I played that clip for you with Mr. T. And I have to say this. One thing that I make sure of is that I respect my guests. And I don't want to ever ask questions that are simply not my business. And if I'm going to ask a question, then I'm asking for wisdom. You know, I'm asking to learn. I'm asking for the audience. You must as a, and I'm speaking to those who aspire to be a podcaster or interview, you know, or who who are already doing what you do. You have to be considered about the content of your speech and the content of your objectives. You are asking somebody to come on your platform. They are trusting That when you get behind the microphone, that you're not going to just go off, that you're not going to disrespect them, or that you're not going to be unnecessarily nosy. You got to really understand that if you want to have your guests come back, your guests give a great review, or your guests to, you know, want to deal with you in another capacity later on, that you respect them. Now, that woman, that white woman, the Edomite, as she was talking to Mr. T, the Israelite, you know, when she was speaking to him, it was like she was going in for a dig. But the way he responded, ooh, class, professionalism, spiritualist, spiritually, you know, a message that we can all take with ourselves. No matter how far we grow, no matter how far and wide our territory is expanded, we need to understand this. You must not forget where you came from. Now, that does not mean look back and turn into a pillar of salt. When the Lord takes you out of one place and delivers you into another, you need to be grateful. Okay? But you also need to remember those days. You need to remember. And so if he chooses to wear shoes like that, God bless him. He knows his worth. He knows the commas that's in his bank account. So we need to be mindful of that. That we're not trying to... I'm not trying to be famous. I can't be famous. I didn't die on the cross. I don't have all power. I don't sit high and look low. 
I'm not omnipotent. I'm not omnipresent. You know, I'm just a child of the most high God. I know that I come from one of the 12 tribes of Israel, which is a tribe of Judah. And there's no way that I could ever compete with Jesus the Christ. I can't compete with God, compete with God. So I just want, I know I'm royalty. Okay. I know I'm a queen, but I'm never trying to be famous because that's when you get into trouble. Fame can lead to depression. It can lead to anxiety. It can lead to arrogance. It can lead to vanity. Fame can be dangerous when applied abusively. You know, I speak a lot about having a license to rap. A license, you know, and, and jokingly, it seems, but I'm very serious about that. You know, you know, I don't like for anybody to do something that they're not called to do. Because now you're just um, a me too. You know, you're just a, a copy. And, and, and you're just doing it because it looks good. <clears throat> but it doesn't feel good to you because you weren't called to do it. You know, we live in a day and age where... It is crucial that you're in your lane and that you are doing what you're supposed to do. And fame is dangerous. And so if you don't have a license to do, if you're not authorized to do what it is that you've been given to do. I mean, excuse me, if you don't have a license or if you have not been authorized to do this thing, it'll fizzle out. Only the strong survive. Only the true are purified. Only the strong last. And when you are operating in your gift that you've been given to do, oh, you're going to excel. But it's when you just want to be famous so people can scream your name. You want to be famous so people can worship you. Idolize you. Okay? You just in it so you can get a million likes, you know, then you're reckless. That's not entertainment. You're a coon. And, you know, <clears throat> you got to call it what it is. A lot of people do things to boost their self-esteem. And so, you know, a mixtape that consists of high quality music born to do this music an album that expresses the true struggle because you really been through it you not no studio gangster like you really done live that life you understand I mean you know you rap about things because you've experienced it and you are going to do something with the residuals of your grind you're thinking about the community. You're thinking about your brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the ones that excel and soar. But if you're just trying to be famous, you're the one that's going to end up putting on a dress. <laughs> you're going to be the one that's going to have acrylic on your fingernails with toenail polish and fingernail polish smelling like Estee Lauder instead of cool water. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay in your lane. You know, be who you're supposed to be. Because if you're trying to be famous, if you're trying to be famous, they're going to lick their chops and you're going to end up walking around stage as a man looking like Caitlyn Jenner. Now, some of you are going to say, did she just say that? I did. You know, that's a whole nother conversation within itself. The fact that, mm, you know, witchcraft is real. Don't you ever let any, and I have to say this, don't you ever, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters, don't you ever let any, any woman, and I'm talking to the brothers, and I know some of the sisters are like, you supposed to be uh, for the women. I'm not a feminist. That is against God. I'm not a feminist. Look, don't you ever let any sister steal your masculinity now, brothers. You hear me? Don't you ever let anybody steal your masculinity. Okay? 
you are the head and not the tail. I just have to say that because I don't know how a man who was born a man will will always be a man. Okay? Always be a man. Will be judged as a man. Can get woman of the year. You tell me that. That's the type of world that we have been shipped to. Okay? Where... If you're not careful, if you're not grounded, if you do not have a relationship with Jesus the Christ, you may end up being woman of the year and you were born a man. That's dangerous. I'm just speaking to you all. You know, I don't need no background music at this. I just, the only background music I have is the fan. Okay? Because I'm recording to you all from a different location this evening. But listen. How bad do you want to be famous? What are you willing to do? If somebody put a $5 million deal in front of your face right now, right now in your current condition, and I mean your current spiritual condition, financial condition, physical condition, psychological condition, but the terms and agreement were That you would have to sell your people out. You would have to become effeminate. You would have to put a sex tape out. And you would have to promote a drug. That you know would would, would ravage. Ravage the youth. Would you do it? Now, I know for a fact that some of you would. Some of you said, hell yeah, because you heard $5 million and then everything else was tuned out. What happens is your struggle is played upon, okay? Your desperatism to become famous, okay? Your, your desire to be number one, okay? All of that. They lick their chops. They present you with the deal and you take it. You don't care about your people. You're the one who we have to watch out for and pray for in the village. You. Because you, at the drop of a dime, will sell out your brothers and sisters. And that's not okay. See, fame can really... Um, create a false illusion. Just take the time to watch Unsung. Take the time to look at how many of our brothers and sisters who were famous, okay, who were famous, were found in a motel. They have hit after hit after hit record, name, well-known, Okay, in the music industry, but they're found dead in a hotel. What's up with that? We have to count the cost of fame. Is a sex tape the way to go to boost your career? You know, if you want to boost your career, sit up straight. Ooh, if you want to boost your career, You know, um, get with a group of people who have your best interest at heart. Now, I have to say this, you know, I watch and I know you watch a lot of award shows and I don't know about you, but when I was little, I wanted to... (laughs) I would practice my speech, okay? Because I just knew I was going to win something. I would practice it. And I know you all had that type of imagination too. You know, when it was cool to play. You know, before TV was all in every room and before there were handheld devices. You know, back in the good old days where you actually got some vitamin D, you know, because you were outside playing, you know, the good old days. So, you know, I would practice my speech, Have you practiced yours? Think about that. I mean, seriously, because some of you all will make it. Your music, 
your grind, your passion, the predestination, you'll make it. So what does your award winning speech sound like? What are you going to say? How are you going to dress for that grand moment? Okay, how are you going to look? How are you going to smell? Because all that goes hand in hand. I smell, I, you know, I walked into the store today and, and, and this guy walked past me and as hot as it is and as, as thick as the wind and the humidity is, you know, he just smelled like he had just, somebody just wrapped him in an ashtray. Okay, how do you smell? What does your appearance look like for this day? What is your inside feeling like? Okay, now you've got all that planned, right? Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. You know, you're on the red carpet and everybody is sticking the microphone out to you to speak to you. They, they got to grab that little, you know, 30 second to a minute spot. What do you say when the question is asked? How do you represent for your people and just for yourself? Okay, now you made it in. It's time. The category is up. The nominees have been listed and you are one of the nominees. Okay. You win. They called your name. Okay. Now you, you know, you walking up, you know, grand moment, well-deserved moment. Okay. You get on stage and everybody's applauding for you. They're standing up, standing ovation. You know, you got your fans there. It's a great night and it's time for your speech. Because you're famous. Okay. I want to know. What are you going to say? And who are you going to thank? Oh, okay. So now you're up there. You're thanking the label. You know, you're thanking the fans. You're thanking your moms, your pops, your whole support group, right? And then you say, last but not least. I got to give a shout out and thank the man upstairs. Pause. 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 Now you are with the shit. Now, now you are. Well, what do you mean, Ayana? What do you mean? I just said I want to thank the man upstairs. Well, who the F is the man upstairs? Your uncle? Your cousin? Your neighbor? The plumber? Bookman? From good times? Who in the hell? Is the man upstairs. Oh wait. Who is he? You know. It's very disrespectful. To refer to my father. And his son. Jesus the Christ. As the man upstairs. So disrespectful. So disrespectful. I mean, what if God referred to you as the nigga down there? Okay, I'm going to wake up the nigga down there. I'm going to wake up the heifer down there. What if your children said, they, let's just say they were on the phone talking to their friend. And they heard you calling them. And they said, hold on. The nigga in there is calling my name. Or the nigga upstairs is calling my name. That man upstairs is calling my name. Disrespectful as shit. Right? Hella disrespectful. I mean, you know, it says a lot when you can't say his name. You know, you would hate to have to hear, I know you not. You must not forget the one who even... Who, who, who created you to call him the man upstairs I listened to several several well known artists well known get up there and fumble you have a grand opportunity to call his name to say his name with pride with joy with conviction with confidence with love with adoration, with respect. To let the whole world know that you, an Israelite, from one of the 12 tribes of Israel, 
is showing honor to your creator, your father. He's not the man upstairs. What effing stairs? What stairs? See, now you're making him out to be the Easter bunny. Now you're making him out to be trick or treat. Now you're making him out to be ho, ho, ho. Okay? Now you're making him out to be Cupid. Now you're making him out to be a birthday cake. How dare you? How dare you? We cannot call him the man upstairs. You talking about your Uncle Johnny? You talking about your cousin Tay Tay? Who in the hell are you referring to? Because you can't be referring to someone in the heaven. Who are you talking about? You talking about the devil? Hmm. Last but not least. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Brother, sister, make sure when you win your award, when they call your name, that you have your speech together. You don't want it to be that you have to stand before him and he say to you, why did you call me the man upstairs? Why were you afraid to say Jesus the Christ? Why were you afraid and ashamed to pay homage to me? I'm the one who gave you life to even be able to spit those bars, to gas. I'm the one who gave you the activity of your limbs to be able to write. I'm the one who even gave you the activity of your mind to be able to think, to pursue. I'm the one who stirred up the gift inside of you to be able to do what you do. I'm the one who propelled you and put you on this journey and through this platform so you could be able to change lives. And this is the, you give to me? You know, I gave you this gift and then you went and became a mumble rapper? You know, I gave you this gift and you sat there and sold your own tribes out? And then you got the nerve to call me the man upstairs? See, we get so finicky about people showing us respect. We get so finicky if somebody calls us out of our name. We called out of our name every day just simply by even being called black. But then we want to call him out of his name. Something is off with your spirituality. A lot of people will not make it. And, and when they get to the place that they are in, cannot handle it because they don't have the character. You spend all that time crying and praying for a breakthrough. And then you were calling him by his name. You didn't sit there and say to the man upstairs, I just want to say, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I just, no, you know, you know, that's not how you pray. And that's not how you give thanks. And I sit and I watch brother and sister get up there day in and day out and drop the ball. What would you say? When you are before your constituents, before your fans, your supporters, the world, who's in your pockets, who's in your thoughts, who's in your heart. As an artist, as a musician, someone in the music industry, I'm speaking to you. Yes, you are listening live to the tour on the Sister Speak show where contemporary meets vision, sound and action, a talk show for great minds that create, inspire, and evolve? Yes, you are. I must provide these thoughts to enter into your mind so you will understand how crucial it is to do the work that was placed inside of you and not the work that the world wants you to do that will then lead you to destruction along with the rest of your people.
You know, I, because I do the tour, I have to listen to different music because I don't want to be outdated. I was born in the 70s. I like a specific type of sound, but I also understand that I have a lot of young special guests. So I have to kind of understand what they're listening to. Now, I hear some stuff that sounds absolutely great. And I hear some stuff that sounds horrible. And I also see how people portray themselves on their profile. And I also hear how people speak. You know, and I've been thinking like, how can I do some things to help you all be as professional as you can be when you're speaking and standing before people? You know, media training. So I'm thinking about teaching a course on that because I have a degree in speech communications. I care about my brothers and sisters. I want you to maximize your potential. I don't want you to look like a damn fool when you stand before people. You know, sometimes I see people on the microphone, I'll be like, no! Because it'd be like, oh, did they just say that? You know, it's kind of like, the rules apply wherever you go. You know, sometimes you can really kill it when you open up your mouth. And then like, you know, I see some interviews, like I, I was watching some clips and some interviews today. And I always watch, you know, clips of interviews because I like to watch how people interview their style, you know. And, and I love to watch the special guests and the energy that they give off. Because one thing I feel like I can do is I can, I can bring out your energy and even if you're just laid back, chill, we still going to have this interview and it's going to still be lit. And I'm able to kind of like, you know, maneuver around the, you know, just the how my guests, you know, just the way that they are. And I just was sitting back and I was just watching some interviews. Like, first of all, you can hear me if you were underneath a cave. OK, I'm loud in projection. And I understand that a woman is to be quiet and soft spoken. OK, learning that. OK. I understand that I'm supposed to be soft-spoken. But in the midst of this performance that I give, this is how I have to speak. But you can hear me. You know, it's nothing worse than somebody getting in, sitting down, the microphone is right there, and this is how they talk. So the question is, you know, you know, you just came off a tour, you know, what was it like? You know, saying, you know the tour was cool, you know, I'm out there, I'm doing my thing, and trying to get it together and you know that's what it is and what and you know if I could you know just trying to get some rest and see my family could you talk into the microphone oh I'm just trying to you know I just said that I'm you know I'm out there and I'm trying to you know stay positive and I'm just happy to see my family and the tour was what it was you see the difference like I don't know what you said so you know that 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 dead air is like sucking the life Please make sure that you project yourself when you're speaking, you know, into the phone, into the microphone. Let people hear you. We want to hear your thoughts. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, you, you could have just gotten in. You could be jet lagged and tired. I take all those things into consideration, but you still have to understand that the, you have a performance to give. You got, you got to show up. Oh, brothers and sisters, you know, it's real. And I, I appreciate you all for listening, you know, to the Sister Speak show, to the tour where we cover every aspect of the music industry. I just want you all to really understand that if you say the man upstairs, you're not going to make it. If you think that's that's who he is, you're not going to make it. I just want you to get everything in the proper perspective. If you don't have a prayer life, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. If you don't have a praise life, you're in trouble. I'm just telling you, all these things are ingredients that are necessary for your grind as an independent music artist. You know, this is what we're going to do. Pause and effect. I'm going to play this video for you all. The struggles of being an independent, of being independent versus record label pains. And this is by brand man Sean Taylor off of YouTube. Let's get it. 
Let's go. Hey man, Sean, and today we got to talk about the struggles of record labels versus being independent. And first, I got to do a shout out to Everyday Struggle because it was the big crit interview on Everyday Struggle that inspired this video. Crit talking about his story reflected so many of the stories of a lot of artists that I know. I'm not going to go into their stories because that's not for me to share. But if there's any artists watching that care to share your record label scenarios, definitely put it into the comments. Now, let's get into it. Now, people talk a lot about 360 deals and just a whole bunch of the financial situations when it comes to being on a record label versus independent. But what's the worst part about being on a record label? I think it's pretty arguable that one of the most painful things about being in a record label actually isn't about necessarily how much they take away from your money. Follow me on this example right here. In a lot of ways, the artist's record label scenario can mimic the same kind of relationship with athletes in college sports, right? If you're a high school star in football, they're giving you phone calls, taking you on visits, they're courting you, saying stuff like, we really want to develop something special. You're strong and smart. We really need you. You sign and you show up to school. The next thing you know, they act like they don't know who you are. Once you're there, you're in a barrel with about 100, 200 other players. And just like a lot of these athletes, a lot of these artists find themselves getting redshirted. But why it's even worse for an artist a lot of times is for an athlete, when you get redshirted, you pretty much know, okay, I'm good for this year. Next year is going to be, I'm, I'm on, I'm in it. For an artist in a lot of scenarios, they don't really tell you, hey, you getting redshirted. We're not really going to try to push you till next year. They they're just gonna pull some strings and keep stringing you along. Hey, we're about to do this. We're about to do this. And you keep waiting, but then it keeps getting pushed back. There's a lot of different scenarios. That's just one of them. But one of the big things that you're battling at a record company, other than money and creative control, really is just being priority in the first place. You are battling other artists on the shelf for attention. I don't care how big you are, no matter what, as a company, resources are still limited, even though it might be more. And these record labels are trying to figure out who they want to divvy their resources to as artists. And if you aren't one of those priorities, eh. Then the next thing that you're battling at a big company like that is just this thing called bureaucracy. Boy, if you haven't really experienced bureaucracy, it's basically like this red tape. It's the chain of command that people have to go through to get certain things done, and sometimes it could be overkill. For example, when I was in college, I found myself in a situation where I landed this big internship at AT&T, and in the interview, the guy basically says, you got the job, I want you to have it. But he says, I don't know how long it's going to take before I can tell you you got the job, because what I got to do is tell these people that you got the job, I'm going to send them the paper, they're going to finish and fill out the paper, they're going to send it back to me. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to send it to this guy. He's going to send it to that guy. That guy is going to send it back to him. Him. I send it there. And then bam. And now I can tell you I have the job. It sounds stupid, but a lot of these big companies have chains of commands that are set up like that for, you know, all kind of legal reasons, especially once things have to touch the lawyers. Boy, you don't know how long things are going to take. Add on to that, that every single person that it has to be sent to is busy themselves. Things slow down. In the midst of it all, here you are as an artist like, yo, man, I need to get out there. I need to get going. You're starting to get antsy, but nothing is being done. You can't move. And that's super painful for an artist who hasn't even blown up yet. And they might be living, you know, in the same circumstances that they were before they got the deal a year or two afterwards. This is why you don't see me doing a lot of why this person fell off type videos, because a lot of it is deeper than the fan conversation of whether I like this music or not, or whether I like their brand or not. There's so much going on in the back end with businesses. Like even when I did the how designer almost fell off video, I mentioned network as the reason. Nothing about his music for the most part. So does being independent get rid of these problems in my opinion the biggest benefits of being independent is one you're in control two you know that you're a priority and three when you do happen to win the upside is bigger financially but other than that you're still going to run into the situation of resources being a problem money is a huge huge hindrance for a lot of independent artists from a record label standpoint they're basically like who do i want to give my resources to from an independent artist standpoint you're like I need to find and get more resources. From an independent standpoint, having to go through those dry periods when you don't have money and not being able to produce as much as you would like to, it can feel very similar to the same period of when you're waiting for your turn finally to happen at a record label and you can't do much in that time. That part really does come down to perspective because when you're an independent artist, once again, you do know that you are a priority, but when you're at a record label, you feel like you're in a relationship with somebody who spent all this time courting you, but now that they got you, they treat you like any old body. A lot of artists are at a label, they have higher expectations of what the label can do for them than they do for what they can do for their own selves. 
never fall into that trap. You have to hustle regardless. Of course, when you're independent, everybody knows hustle, hustle, hustle. I got to grind. I'm building my own. But even when you are at a label, I know a lot of artists who are signed and they're still doing their own reaching out to influencers, doing their own um, just getting into the streets or trying to do their own shows and things like that because they can't wait for the record label to finally make them have a, be a priority. These artists are basically acting like they don't have a record label and not in the sense of they're trying to trick people into think they aren't signed but they just have to move as if they don't have that support because at the moment they kind of don't. Even when you look at French Montana's case, his biggest song ever is Unforgettable. Every time I try to say that song I almost say unforgivable. Unforgivable. He had to spend six hundred thousand dollars of his own money to get that song going. And I know some of y'all are probably like, so French Montana got money, but trust me, six hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money to French Montana. The difference is with French Montana, you already know he came up hustling, so he's used to betting on himself. Shoot, some artists don't even want to risk five dollars on their career. For the last time, definitely make sure you watch that big crit interview on Everyday Struggle. Every artist needs to really see that. Now, what I can't do is give general advice on whether or not everybody should have a label or everybody should be independent but I would definitely once again like to hear any kind of comments on anybody who has a label scenario on if it went well we and talk about that too but if it went bad we definitely want to hear about those as well so you know what to do hit that subscribe button brothers and sisters welcome back to the ooh ooh to the sister speak show uh oh here we go i knew so this was gonna slow. happen hold on everybody there we go brothers and sisters welcome back to the sister speak show you are listening live to the tour on the sister speak show where we cover every aspect of the music industry you know what are your thoughts and opinions about uh the indie label and and the grind and the hustle you know Everybody has to eat, and it's really sad that so many people get caught up in contracts because they didn't read, you know, they get caught up in terms and agreements that they did not, you know, didn't pay attention to, and it's so sad that they're they're the last to eat sometimes, and ugh, just if you just get the time to just listen to their stories, it's really sad because, you know, once again... Wanted to be famous, wanted to get on, wanted to pop. Sometimes you can make a pre, you know, a false start. And if you watch football, you know that a false start, the whistle blows and you get that five yard penalty. You know, you know, you got you got to wait for your turn. You got to wait for the play to actually be in motion before you just start start, you know, trying to hike before the hike. You understand what I'm saying to you? So I appreciate that brother's perspective, you know, on on the music industry and and I love the fact that there are so many dope. Uh, podcasts out there and so many dope people out there that are just providing platforms for information for music and you know fresh music dope music and just you know really getting with the the young people uh the the older people and just coming together bridging gaps and just really respecting everybody's appreciation and love for music that's what it's you know that's what it's about and just and just learning you know you're never we don't know everything and and what you do know you know you stick to it and what you know you share you know we learn share and apply learn apply share actually and so i appreciate that so this is what we're gonna do brothers and sisters you know shoot it's a real hustle out here so it's a full-time hustle to be exact and and you know about it you know you know about the grind you know about the pain the sweat and the tears you know about putting your your, your stuff together and 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 pushing it getting out there and traveling and 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 pushing out the trunk or pushing at an event and really just trying to get people to you know vibe out with what you're doing because the purpose is to eat and 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 to let people to see how dope you are right so this is what we're gonna do i want to encourage you you know i marked this show explicit let's get it uh one of our featured may music artists uh x the hustler my brothers and sisters is uh getting ready to bless us with full-time hustler listen to it and i'll see you on the other side of this Dope track. You understand what I'm saying to you? All right now. Pictures too. Uh, Shut Be woo. <laughs> Appreciate that, on boy. If you stand up, man. Uh. I'm a full time hustler. Don't really think about letting up. Turn up for them falling soldiers. I'm a fuck a city up. Get it off the muscle, bro. Let my heart. Tommy 
top. Gotta hustle hard from the start. Nigga, play your part. Extra hustle, swear it's not a fraud. You get ripped apart. Me 15, deep up in my skin. And it's in my heart. Brother D, stuck off in that pen. The Lord bless his heart. Niggas come around only when you're beneficial. I'ma take the mound, praying on a no hitter. About the fucking clown, I come from them cold dinners. Look at that boy now, why didn't have to show niggas? Everybody hating, waiting that you never make it. X man got his basics, I don't need no favors. Hood nigga, now I'm putting with vanilla wafers. Gentlemen, can't go hack, velvet stitch blazer. Old time hustler, don't really think about letting up. Turn up for them fallen soldiers, I'm a fuck the city up. Get it off the muscle, bruh, let my homies run it up. Keep the out the Spanish sweep for mention in the time it's up. Full time hustler, don't really think about letting up. Turn up for them fallen soldiers, I'm a fuck the city up. Get it off the muscle, bruh, let my homies run it up. Keep the out the Spanish sweep for mention in the time it's up. Lord, man, that's all I have. I can't get it up. It's gon' check a bag, ain't gon' live it up Smile in your face, but when you gone, they be talking down Home run, hit us out the park, let me make my round Anyway, I gotta stay focused up on this paper, though Watch me spit some bars on the sofa, it just might cost you, though Bring the best investor, you taking them straight to exit show Ain't no squares up in the circle, so what you looking for? Can't take my foot off the neck, somebody let them know Look, nigga, spam I'm sick of being broke. X man, demand my respect. That's if you didn't know. SD, YP up next. This what they waiting for. I'm a full time hustler. Don't really think about letting up. Turn up for them fallen soldiers. I'ma fuck the city up. Get it off the muscle, bruh. I let my homies run it up. Keep the eyes of Spanish sweet for mentioning. I'm time it tough. Full time hustler. First three, ain't nobody sleep. Guess they fuck with me. Low key, rolling up Obama. He smoke Huckabee. Real gutter shit. Where I'm from, get them Memphis Street. Better be cautious about your bomb. And stay with the heat. I'ma hold it down for the niggas dead and gone. If conversation ain't my paper, I hang up the phone. The gal dick when she split, I can see a thong. One of these models, she ain't guaranteed to make it home. Welcome back, my brothers and sisters. You are listening live to the tour on the Sister Speak show. I am your host, Ayana. You know, I appreciate, I appreciate my professional brothers and sisters. I really do. I appreciate those of you who really go into the lab and you put out that heat, that fire, that gas. I appreciate those of you all who know how to put metaphors together, who know how to create dope rhymes. You know, those of you who all create dope beats. Those of you all who just, you know, know how to sit down and make hit after hit, you know, hit makers, you know what I mean? I really salute you and I appreciate you. And I just want to put this on your spirit to everybody who is listening, because this is real talk, because I, I, I don't know any way else to give it but this way. Hey, hey, shout out to Derek Ben Israel for this beat. 
I really appreciate you for this beat. Hope everything is all right with you and Callie. Yes, much love. I love you. So anyway, brothers and sisters, here we go. When it comes to my brothers and sisters needing to eat, and when it comes to you not wanting to reach down in your pockets and contribute to the village so the village continue to thrive and so the village can be sustained, so the village can prosper and enter into abundance, okay? Look. You walk into the 99 cent store. I know you do. You've been to the Dollar Tree. You've been to the Dollar General. You've been to the Family Dollar. You have. You've walked in there. And you have purchased one item, several items at 99 cents. Do you know who the owner of the 99 cent store is? Do you know who the owner of the Dollar Tree is? Oh, wait. Who? Who? Who is the owner? Do you know any of the people that make the products that are sold in the Dollar Tree? I'm just asking. In the 99 cent store, do you know any of the people who have created the brands that are sold within the Dollar Tree in the 99 cent store at the Dollar General? Do you? Do you? No, you don't. You don't. You don't. Let's not even try to front. You don't. So you go with your money, your three dollars and twenty four cents, your dollar seven, your dollar eight, you know, whatever it is, and you and you pay for these items. You support. So why is it that you can't go on iTunes and shop at their ninety nine cent store and support the brothers and sisters who have singles for ninety nine cents? <laughs> I'll wait. Explain that effery to me. How do you do it? I don't even know how y'all can even live with yourselves. That's a, It's got to be a long ride home to go home with you, huh? You with you on the way home to be with you. And all of your bitterness and misery with your Dollar Tree items. Okay? Our brothers and sisters are on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, okay? They have merchandise. They have shows. They have um, GoFundMe pages. They have studio sessions, okay? That stuff costs. They have the printing, the mixing, the mastering, the whole everything of their brand, and they do need your support. And you turn up your nose, and you don't want to pay 99 cents to support your brothers and sisters, but you will walk yourself into that Dollar Tree and support all of those on and off brands and these people that you do not know. You'll even pay 25 cents for for the bags that you got to pay for Aldi. Cuz you know Aldi is with the shit. They'll make you ha- they'll make you pay for your own stuff to be bagged up. You got to pay for the bag. Mm, mm, mm. You got to pay to play out here. So why don't you? You go to McDonald's. You go to Wendy's. And you sit there and you look at that dollar menu. At that 99, that value menu. And you put it together for your double stack. For your chicken nuggets and your fries. Or don't let it be the four for four. So I need to know how come you cannot do the same thing for your brothers and sisters. But you'll go and you'll support a redheaded white girl. And Dan and Dave from Wendy's. And some of you saying, oh, why are you making it about race and all of that? Please do not even allow yourself to come for me with that question. You don't want this. I got a heavyweight championship title when it comes to shutting people up. When it comes to clarifying and rectifying and speaking the truth, don't come for me. I'm keeping it 100. My brothers and sisters are suffering. We are under several curses and we do not treat each other right. The black dollar has no value within its own within its own village, but has value on it in other nations. The black dollar is not used the way it should be used on its own people. And I'm speaking and I'm addressing that. So don't come for me. My brothers and sisters need help. 
and the economic disparity and the system, system systemic poverty that meant manifest and continue to manifest in the community in the village is is sickening you know one thing i think about when it comes to my brothers and sisters opportunities switching the subject as we get ready to close this show out opportunities when you're giving an opportunity you need to be able to determine if it's an op opportunity or an opportunity check out my latest ep not my latest episode but i have an episode on the platform about opportunity versus opportunity port meaning the door pit meaning something you fall into and we have to know what is an opportunity and opportunity and that requires you to be literate it, it requires you to eat right it requires you to read Okay, you can be literate and still not read. It requires you to do your due diligence to understand, you know, what you're getting into. People present me with a lot of suggestions. And it's for me to determine if it's an opportunity or opportunity, you know. Suggestions. One opportunity that is, one suggestion that I know is an opportunity when, excuse me, when it comes to brand making is buying your followers. I don't buy my followers. I don't accept spam pages. You know, I don't know where this hair spam page ring is coming from. But I pray that you uh, you never get your electricity back. I, pay, I pray that every time you get ready to come and follow somebody that your phone explodes in your hand. I'm tired of you. But anyway, brothers and sisters, you know, it's very important to understand that we um, cannot pay for our following, that it needs to be organic. Some of y'all are very arrogant about your followings and you don't have that true number. And I, it's hard for me to vibe out with you. That's just a side note. You know, think about your brand. Think about your music. Think about your presentation. Think about your speech. Think about... Uh, a major label think about you know the independent route think about it all and 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 understand that the music industry has been around for a long time and there are big wigs there are moguls and there are people who have journeyed to get to where they are a lot of people want that microwave success they want to be famous overnight they want to be you know super successful overnight and they miss the mark you know your character has to be developed you know um and that's how you end up selling your soul we don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. Brothers and sisters, it has been amazing in the month of May because we have had the opportunity to play fresh music, have dynamic interviews, and just really get to know brothers and sisters on a grand level. You know, tonight I had a special guest that was supposed to be calling in Texaco Mills. And before that, I remember I had an interview with Tone C and he didn't call in. And, you know, I just want to say that I'm here for my brothers and sisters. And it is popular to be professional. And uh, I know I told you all that they were calling in. I know you all were looking for that vibe. I know you were expecting to you know, uh, rock out with them and, and, and hear their perspective on the music industry. And I was too. And you know, some things just don't happen, but guess what? You always have to have a show backed up and ready to go. So this is what we're going to do, brothers and sisters. I'm going to play one more song for you. This is by Jay Hen featuring Young Rail. Jay Hen is very professional, verified. Um, he's a part of Hip Star Entertainment, and they really just have a brand that I love. We're going to play this song, and then I'm going to say a couple more words, and then we're out.
Tell you bye bye. Everybody that I see him, give him high five. More glad than I'm through with your silly ass. Pack luggage moved up, yeah, first class. My bad, my fault. But I think I'm more concerned with what I bought. When you was here, you really act like you ain't near me. He ain't seeing me, never did believe in me. Now you mad cause another show you seeing change. Can't complain, baby, always did the thing. Now I'm doing me, and that's true indeed. I'm used to the money, came from the street. Mama told me keep my eyes. Brothers and sisters, this is Jay Hen featuring Young Rail on to the next dope, dope, dope song. Great vibes. Had him as a special guest. I mean, I just really love my brothers and sisters. Y'all really show up. The ones that do show up, I really appreciate you. And uh, it's just amazing to be able to have this opportunity to vibe with you all. I hope you take everything that I said to you in consideration as you propel forward with your brand, uh, whether you are independent or with a major label. I want you to continue to, you know, write and 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 read and just enhance your wisdom so you can be a, a better service when you get behind the microphone because that's crucial. Please listen live. Live tomorrow night, my brothers and sisters. Why do you need to listen live tomorrow night? You need to listen live because we are going to be playing every single song back to back. No interruptions, no commercials. Every single song that we played from the beginning on May 4th to tomorrow night, brothers and sisters, all of my special guests. Yes, we will, playing, we will be playing every single independent artist music straight through. It's going to be... I mean, lit, okay? Because, you know, you listen to the radio, you got commercials, you don't play the song all the way through. No, back to back to back to back to back. You get a song, you get a song, you get a song. We all get a song. No, seriously, we are going to play this music. We're going to vibe out. We're going to groove. We're going to big up every single artist that participated and got their music through. And I, I just, I just love you. And I love my listening audience because y'all dope. You know, no matter what time zone you're listening to me in right now, you know, shout out to you. Shout out to your life. Shout out to the fact that you were created. I'm so grateful that you were created. You know, I want you to continue to be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. That's what it's all about. Encouragement. No matter what segment you're listening to. And I got a treat for you all. Uh, we also have a live interview. I'm going to stop saying that in a minute. I'm going to say, no, listen, we got a live interview this Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time with Jay Metro and then at 7 p.m. with Isis. So excited about these two interviews. Vibe out with us. Listen live, 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then we're going to move into June. Now, June is going to be a little different because we're going to have, you're going to be listening to all of the segments we're going to be going hard in the paint, segment after segment after segment. So you're going to be listening back on with the platform, coming to the stage, the culture climate, the tour, the laugh line, as well as laugh line, the tour platform, coming to the stage, my brothers and sisters, the search effort. There we go. The search effort. Oh, so many, right? Should remember them. So we're going to have all those segments playing, you know, um, live, on demand, just really good information, getting back into the gripe. Gribe. What is a gribe? Can you tell me what a gribe? It's a groove and a vibe. Go ahead, Yana. Make it up. Make it up and recover it. So that's what we're going to do. I need you to listen live 7 p.m. Central Standard Time uh, as well as on demand for May Music as we wrap that up and listen live to the tour on Saturday. It's going all the way up. I'm excited. We'll have some good interviews in June as well, but we're really going to be focusing on these segments because it's absolutely amazing my brothers and sisters absolutely amazing to do so so guess what brothers and sisters i don't have anything else to say to you this evening we are going to end this show we're going to end it right now my brothers and sisters i mean we have really reached the end of the show it's been a blessing it's been real and um i want you to be encouraged can't say that enough so Without further ado, darling, you take care. And um, one thing I do want to say is this, brothers and sisters. Please, whatever you're doing, don't stop. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> brothers and sisters, you take care and be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow evening, okay? Take care.